forgive me i will post it tomorrow okay so we're here to talk about faking orgasm and as much as this is mostly a class for women it's important that the men also stick around learn one or two things thank you so much i love the heart it tells me that you guys love me and that you encourage me and you support me thank you kachi um kachi's angel foxy v if i see you okay um so yeah we're talking about faking orgasm and like i said this is not just a class for women as much as it affects mostly women um this is a class for both husbands and wives because husbands will pick one or two things um <laughs> you're watching me in 3d glasses sorry now sorry i beg we'll keep the 3d aside i beg i will post tomorrow and i'll tag you for real my hands have been full you have no idea okay so um guys 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 you have a lot of work to do to help the women to help your wives you know um to help the coming the generation that is coming after us unusual tj is doing something phenomenal he's teaching our future husbands he's taking on like huge responsibility because i keep saying that you know there's just a lot there's a there, there are lots of teachings and seminars and online courses and you know just a lot of um, upgrading and development for the girl child for the wives for women how to take care of themselves how to take care of the husband and all of that nobody's teaching the boys the men how to take care of the wife so we're bringing up girls and nobody's teaching the men that these girls are going to meet in the future so unusual TJ is bridging that gap and I respect him so much thank you so much sir um, I can't pronounce his name. T Y W U N D. Is it Tunde? Is it? Did you tweak your name, Tunde Graham? I hope I got it right. Welcome, Tunde. Okay, so let's quickly, quickly jump into it. So I started posting stuff on faking orgasm. Tonight is no joke. Trust me. And a lot of women have been in my DM with different questions. Some have said, what if it's a one minute man? How do I look forward to that? What is there to excite me? You know, why should I, why should I look forward to having sex with a man who just spent one minute and he's up and he's done? I have people who are saying, I'm getting married next month. I'm getting married next year. How do I begin to get excited so that I, I know what to do? Some are even virgins. I have virgins in my DM saying, my husband and I, you know, my fiance and I were both virgins. You know, so you have people who have no clue. And no, not a lot of people are practical with their trainings. Do you get what I mean? Um, so today we'll be delving into a lot of stuff because there's just a lot of questions and comments and suggestions on what tonight should be. But I'm just going to basically focus on why women fake orgasm, um, the pains and the hurts that comes with um, faking orgasm, and how women can begin to um, you know, enjoy orgasm. Now, men need to also learn how they can help their wives achieve orgasm when you're dealing in the bedroom transaction you know that's why i said it's not just a class for women men can also learn a thing or two you know that would help them because if your wife is happy if she's excited you're happy you're excited because you know that she has your back 1001 percent of the time so that's what tonight's class is about let me just quickly say hello to a couple of you and then jump into it i see you Eitayo. thank you for joining pam I see you. Um, Nenen Dubisi, I see you. Vera Mix, you guys are so much. Um, hi! It's been a while. It's been a while. Please do not forget to share this video because we need to save a lot more homes, okay? Um, and I need you also to send me the hearts. Okay, so quickly, let's jump into it. Okay, so I have somebody, a man who actually said he wishes he had started learning the things he's learning from Bedroom Matters now rather than later i mean he, he wishes he knows them then forgive me rather than knowing them now because in his words i wish i can get that message out in his words it says that a lot of men um have 
you know, sexual issues, not satisfying their wives, and a lot of women are not even helping them, you know, help helping their husbands as well. Because, you know, there's this social thing, you know, um, or belief that a man should know it, or especially when the woman is coming from a clueless place, when she's a good girl, she's a virgin, and she's married a man who has been with other women in the past, she expects him to know, you understand, and so there's a lot of pressure on the man, and the man doesn't even know his left from his right, and, you know, the woman's body is constantly changing, from when you get married to when you're pregnant, you have babies and all of that, your body, your hormones is constantly changing and bouncing all over the place. So the men need help to know what you like in bed and what you do not like in bed, you know. Um, so this man says he wishes he, he had met bedroom matters a long time ago. Now I'm using bedroom matters because it's not about me, okay? You guys need to understand that it's not about Cecilia. It's about bedroom matters and it's about saving marriages with focus to intimacy. And I was like, you know what? Um, it, all hope is not lost. What can we do? We can have a one-on-one -on -one counseling session for both of you or, you know, just do something to help you and, and the wife. And he was like, well, it's late now. We've gone our separate ways. We've moved on. We've divorced and all of that. So you come to see the extent to which this is reading homes of the joy and the pleasure and the satisfaction that it should bring. You know, a lot of us don't know that, that sex is a gift in marriage. So I posted a video this morning that I got from my sister-in-law and, you know, this lady just got engaged and she's like, ooh, it's been a while. Like she's anticipating the wedding night so you have a lot of people who are planning to get married spending all their time energy and money on the wedding dress planning the catering the decor the venue the suits the cake the photograph the video the mc and what have you but they are not intentional about so what happens from the wedding night how would the wedding you know that there's a research that says 90 percent of marriages are not consummated on the wedding night why because there's a lot of pressure and stress that goes into putting that one day event together that we forget that we have the rest of our lives to live so we're doing everything and anything that we can to please people so that this one day will be glorious and glamorous and you know have tongue wagging and make sure you outdo the last wedding that just happened and all of that and you forget that that night is critical that night is important i'm talking from experience we didn't consummate our love our marriage myself and my husband we were too tired from all the stress we were too tired we need to understand that after that big day comes the beginning of a lifetime journey and how you start it matters you need to start it empowered and if you're not empowered get people who are you know people who are in a place where they can empower and train you and give you all the necessary tools that you need now the man was saying that he wanted to please the wife there are some men who can actually tell when a woman is faking orgasm trust me some men know and then you're asking the woman are you okay and she keeps saying yes i'm fine and he's, are you enjoying it and she's saying yes i'm enjoying it duh who are you deceiving who are you deceiving you're not enjoying it you're not talking about it you have a husband who wants to satisfy you he's asking you questions for for whatever reason now one of the reasons women fake orgasm one of the major reasons is societal fear you know we've been brought up to 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 um what's the word now women have been brought up to just be at the receiving end we've been brought up to serve the man you know you've been brought up to not enjoy sex it's not you know a thing that women should talk about now i remember when i started posting things on bedroom matters an uncle of mine is not uncle an uncle blood related my father's younger brother sent me a, not it's not sent me a replied on my on my on my page replied my post and said some things shouldn't be said outside some things should be said inside the house and i replied since he didn't have the courtesy to call me or send me a private message and i replied there if they are not said here how would people learn so women have been brought up to just be there you can't enjoy sex the societal stress and you know lies because they are all lies 
Do you get what I mean? We've been brought up to not. Now, I have a story or I heard a story about a woman who, even in her 70s, couldn't enjoy sex. Like, every time she comes close to orgasm, her mother's voice rings in her, in her head. As old as 70, her mother's voice rings in her head, no, you can't enjoy, and then she lets go. So you see how strong and powerful word of mouth is, the things that we say to people. You know how strong it is. I don't want to dwell on it. We understand what I'm talking about. Now, we also have, you know, um, religious folks, religious reasons. Some women will never enjoy or understand what orgasm is for the rest of their lives because they have all of these religious folks just telling them stuff. It is carnal to even talk about it. It is carnal to expect that your husband should do certain things to you. It is come out to do this, it's come out to do that. For goodness sake, can you spare me? God created sex to be enjoyed between a husband and a wife. And then I'm married. Now don't forget that when, we're, when we were single, we were told to keep ourselves, be chaste, be pure. You know, it's best to be a virgin and then you get married. Nobody's teaching you how to enjoy sex in marriage, right? Rather, people are telling you to hush, hush, hush. There are certain things you shouldn't say outside. A, 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 a woman comes home and is telling her mom that I'm not enjoying sex in my marriage. And the mom is saying, shh, 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 shh. it's not a good thing to say. You're a child of God. And I'm like, exactly. I'm a child of God. What does the Bible say about sex? It talks about pleasuring each other. It talks about not holding back your body from each other. It talks about, if you, if you read the books of Songs of Sam, and I have treated I have treated this before, you know, a couple of weeks back. Some men don't even know how to give their wives foreplay, how to play with the beautiful part of your woman's body. You don't even know your anatomy. Some men have never seen their wife's private part. Scratch that. Some men have never seen their wife's vagina. I said I was going to bring it as raw as possible because, see, it doesn't make any sense. When you turn on the TV, they are bombarding us with sex, with porn, with all of these things. And nobody is teaching us a healthier way of enjoying it, right? So don't tell me that, you know, it is canal, it is wrong. So somebody saying, how can you be teaching about foreplay so a man should put his mouth on his wife's um, vagina and all of that and i'm like if you can put your mouth on her breast hello have you gone to read your bible what is carnal about that anyway i don't want to dwell on that you all know my stand as far as who is looking at me like that you're shocked trust me this is bedroom matters no hurts but i'm very soon i'm going to put this page on private so we will allow only a certain people coming because of the things we're going to be saying or the things that we are saying already we don't want our monitoring spirits here okay it's it's extremely sensitive what we do here another reason is lack of confidence a lot of women do not have single confidence in themselves unfortunately sometimes it's not even their fault society have battered them their parents have battered them they're even in a marriage where the man is body shaming them you know you're too fat now this was not how you were when i met you this was not how you know this is not the person that i married after she has given you children there are better ways to tell the woman how to look or teach her how she should dress or how you want her to be without body shaming her do you understand so when you body shame her you kill the confidence that she has left inside of her so even when you want to have sex she's scared she doesn't know what she will see next she doesn't know if you will tell her that her breast has sagged or is sagged and i'm i'm trying to understand who sagged those breasts when you married her were they not standing right so we have this you know uh, the um, pressure from society we have pressure from the church or from religious people telling us we can't enjoy sex we have people you know constantly just bashing women and reduce their self-esteem to like zero we also have reasons um the first reasons or the first reason why women do not enjoy sex is that they do not even know what orgasm is do you know that some women do not even know what orgasm is believe me They've never experienced it. So how, how would they begin to know that? Oh, because some people, some women find it weird that you say, oh my goodness, I had the most amazing sex with my husband last night. She's looking at you like, is it that thing that we do that is making you all excited? You need to get to 
a point where the mere thought of what you and your husband had the previous night gives you chills like makes you you're still vibrating from the night before some women have never experienced that and may never experience it if they don't take hold of their lives if they don't take hold of their sexuality right so that that's just for i need to quickly say because i don't want to miss all your questions or your contributions okay i'm still going to go back to that um hi cecilia i see you thank you so much for being here every single time thank you did i miss any important question no we've been taught how to pray and fast but sex is a taboo exactly if we're taught to pray to fast if anything happens the man cheats on you outside somebody says oh pray fire the woman now recently what is recently three days ago two days ago I saw a post on somebody's page and this certain somebody says drop the names of your husband's side chick here I am in so 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 village so that we can pray and do what and to my disappointment and shock Christian women were dropping names of other girls full names so 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 person daughter so 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 person some persons left three four five names oh you know your husband's side chick and you think that the solution is to drop her name on some page for somebody to pray that what will happen that what will happen no i really need to understand because i did not understand the motive behind i can understand people trying to do polls to drive traffic to their page and but i cannot understand an adult who is married dropping names what were you expecting anyway that's on the side so you have um okay okay guys thank you so much um be so thank you so much um so today is your first time anyway let me quickly go back to so a lot of women do not enjoy fake orgasm because they don't even know what orgasm is and a lot of women don't know that there are various levels of orgasm various levels some men can handle a woman and she's vibrating and she orgasms more than three four times at a go so the men also need to work on themselves take lessons with your wives go out have fun research read pay a counselor to take you guys through this journey because guess what you are married you have children you want your marriage to blossom you want your children to be happy you want your children to see that both of you are in love and you love each other and you're not having sex it would affect every other thing that you do it will affect it transcends down to how you relate with your children and guess what our children don't just listen to what we say they do what they see us do so if there's no chemistry if there's no connection trust me you guys are just joking in the next 10 15 years you will understand what i'm saying now you remember that somebody said something like this so it is time see the best time to plant a tree was yesterday the next best time is today if you're having any issues with your bedroom transaction send me a dm after this class and trust me sending me a dm doesn't mean i'm going to attend to you for free please get that okay these are the free info i'm giving any detailed work that i have to do with you will cost you something because it costs a lot to do all of the things that we do on bedroom matters so back to it what are the dangers the dangers of faking orgasm for a woman the dangers of faking orgasm for some women you keep faking it you fake you fake you fake it to a point where your resentment towards this man builds up you are building your resentment because anytime he wants to touch you you just you you're resentful towards him you don't because there's nothing like you're not feeling him he's not touching where matters to you do you understand so for some people who say hey, that doesn't matter now she be just for him to come it's for him to have him to come now abby and uh, and he stands up and i go for how long will you live like that for how long will you just lie down open your legs and let the man come inside of you have his field day and then go for how long so you're living with a roommate sorry should i use the f word unfortunately i'm not allowed to use that word some of you just have 
have partners in your house that's supposed to be your spouse she he is supposed to be your spouse and you do not sometimes it's really really annoying but i also understand that our society is not doing us a favor but we can't keep blaming the society you can't keep blaming your mom you can't keep blaming your dad you can't keep blaming the church where you worship you can't keep blaming the man you have to do something it's just like when your child is sick you know you your antennas are working full time full capacity when you're not happy emotionally you need to find a way to get your groove back okay and i was talking about reasons why women fake orgasm for some women they've tried some women have talked to their husband because some men also have low sex libido don't think that this is just only on women some men do not enjoy sex as well and i think that some for some people it's medical for some other people it's just lack of information and you don't even admit that you have a problem the moment you can first of all identify that you have a problem then you can start looking for solution to the problem that you have all right so where was i <laughs> where was i hi ify yay good to see you here good to see you here right where was i okay so i'll just quickly wrap up i talked about you know some of the reasons there's so many more other reasons so many more other reasons why women don't enjoy sex now i was talking about what you know faking orgasm can get to what it culminates into what you know the repercussion of constantly faking orgasm like i said resentment second of all it builds it opens the door for the woman to cheat it opens the door so don't think that only men that cheat men you think you are cheating and your wife some of you your wives are cheating right under your nose and you don't even know and trust me if a woman wants to cheat she can hide it well better than you even know so if you even have a feeling that you're not meeting up to expectation or you're not giving her you know sex the way she should the way she enjoys it and the truth is some of you know you know when she's in her element right so when you know she's no longer in her element she has lost every passion she has lost every you know willpower to go out of her way to have you guys enjoy sex when that happens she's opening the door and you may be aiding her opening the door for her to cheat because the moment a man that is not you says hello to her is always in her life is always there at the right time devil's right time and he touches her don't forget that her body is building she's she's just taking you know all your ejaculations all this while without enjoying sex the moment the devil tempts her and she falls it might be difficult to get back so those are what you know that's the second repercussion for faking orgasm you tend to fall into temptation easily you tend to fall into temptation easily now what i want to also say to the men is do not just be in a hurry to get into your wife have sex with her and get out take your time to understand your wife's body now i know that the women can be complicated because the moment you figure out what turns her on today tomorrow it might change into something else so you have to constantly be a student to your wife and don't think she's doing it on purpose this is the way we were created we're complicated our our our, our makeup you know our anatomy were were made complicated all right so you need to understand and begin to help your wife as well you need to understand and begin to help your wife okay now somebody asked me um that they don't have um the the expertise or the tools how would they how should they prepare for um the first night after their wedding and i don't think i can take that because i had already taken that class before but i will try and just touch a bit of it what i would say is please make sure you get ready some lingerie some perfumes you know start talking about it and i'm not saying when you guys are alone so you don't fall into the temptation of actually having sex before your we your wedding get some oils learn to do massage go to youtube learn how because somebody been telling me to teach them how to do, i don't even know how to do the massage i do the small local one i know how to with my husband 
okay learn to do all of that and tell yourself that on your wedding day you won't sweat it if you have the money and you can outsource the planning to a wedding planner so that you're not stressing oh has the food person come um the cake the, the the decorator how is it doing oh this sound is bad we're not hearing the mc and all of that take away your yourself from that stress okay and if you can both of you do not bother about what people will eat or drink on that day it doesn't matter you've done your best and trust me the, the real wedding was done in the church or in the court every other thing is just simply ceremonial so that when you leave you're still strong enough to enjoy each other and if you're virgins please I think I need to do a special class on that or just go into my DM because that's removing me that's removing me from today's topic, faking orgasm. Because you know that's like a totally different topic. It's just that I promised I was going to touch it today. Um we can continue that later. But let me just quickly say this. A happy woman makes a happier home. Alright? So I'm gonna go into how women can begin to enjoy you know, sex and stop faking orgasm and actually reach orgasm. The first one is communication. You cannot do with anything without communicating. You should be able to tell your husband, honey, sweetie, sugar, puff puff, whatever you call you, <laughs> whatever you call your spouse. I'm not enjoying this touch. The way you're touching my breast, mm -mm, it's turning me off. And for a woman, trust me, sometimes the nipple is like the trigger point. Like, it drives her crazy. It makes her dripping wet and all of that. The next morning, it irritates her when you touch her on the nipple. So one of the reasons why her bodies keep changing could be stress, could be a lot of work. You know, she's gone through lots of stress during the day, catering for the children, catering for you, maybe catering for an extended family member, maybe your mother your or your father or someone. And she comes home, a child is not feeling well, or, you know, you just did something to her. And she's bottling up a lot of emotions, a lot of emotion. How do you expect her to deliver in bed. How do you expect her to be welcoming? I always say this in my classes. A man that wants to enjoy sex in the evening when he gets back home from work should start romancing her and doing foreplay from the morning. Especially if you have offended her. You guys had the misunderstanding or you quarreled or you raised your voice or you fought or something and you want to get home. And have beautiful sex or love making session with your wife you start from morning start from when you're at work for play is not when you just come on the bed and you know you start touching her or you start sucking how you start doing whatever that's not for play for play starts from the mind so you get to work you send her a message how are you doing honey I miss you already and she's wondering but you just left the house not up to one hour ago right you're messing with her already because she's not expecting you to do that and then if you want to take it a step further, you're calling her in the afternoon, have you had lunch? Or you take her out for lunch, you can surprise her at work, take her out for lunch, or send her lunch. These days, these things are easy. Order lunch online. Go online, look for, for, for restaurants that can deliver good meals. You send her that, and she's smiling just because. You can send her flowers. You can send a career guy with money in an envelope or check to her. See, these things are so easy to do. But we're not taking advantage of what we can achieve. We just think that once you're married, um, once you're married, forgive me, once you're married, it's a free ticket to do whatever. It doesn't happen that way. You must put in effort. Every beautiful marriage you see out there takes intentional effort. Intentional effort. If you want your wife to consistently be excited about you, you need to keep wooing her. You need to keep, you know, toasting her. You know, that's the English Nigerian people understand. Hi, Ebi, I see you. Choose the general. You are learning. I said this class is only for married people. Are you are here. Continue. Oh, no. Never have struck. Anyway, they won't stop me. First of all, network was going to misbehave. Um, Nothing will stop tonight. Yeah? 
Okay, so for the women, I said communication is extremely important. All right. Now, when you communicate, learn to also take courses. Bring your sexy back. Yes, children or childbearing changes your body, but it doesn't damage your body. You can work on your mind. I always tell us that queens are strategic people. We're smart. We're not reactive people. We're proactive people. Okay? So you need to understand that. The fact that you're, you know, you just had a baby or you've had babies, your body is no longer the way it used to be. Of course, your body will change. But you need to be in charge of your mental status, your mental stability, your mental health. Okay, so if you need that man to keep chasing you, you need to look chaseable. You need to keep giving him different sides to you. You need to keep showing him the woman that he wants new in different, yes, in a different size and shape right now. But you can still be hot. You guys don't even know what's about to hit you. Like, I am revamping big time. I am revamping big time. Like I want MT Amanda to come home and say what happened to my wife. And I do that, you know, in my own little way. I'm not even claiming that I know it all, that I'm there yet. But I'm making an effort, you know. And for you women also, try as much as you can. Please, hygiene is important. I know it's not easy. It's tiring when you come back. In fact, it's even worse when the woman does all of that and she's clean and all of that and the man is too tired to shower. Meanwhile, she's been doing all of the work. But you see, that's where communication still comes in. Now, there's also a place of prayer. You've gone into a, a marriage and it's not what you thought it was or you knew, okay, that this is what it, it is or what this is not what it used to be. See, there's nothing God cannot do. People say, why do you always say that you pray when it has to do with sex? Sometimes I'm not in the mood. And I know clearly from all indication that my husband is showing me green lights. And this night it has to hammer. People of the Lord, praise God. You know, I'm also a I'm Christian and I can't do this without referring back to who I am, you know. I ask the Holy Spirit to help me. I ask the Holy Spirit to help me. And I may start off not being in the mood, but once you're in it, you're in it. Please make sure you look after yourself. Work on your sanity, all right? Because if you keep saying it's fine, I just let him. After a while, it will no longer be what you thought it is. You will think after a while you will no longer enjoy sex. I'm talking to you from a from a woman who has experienced, no, not experienced, a woman who have met women who are in their fifties and sixties and wishing their husband would notice them. I'm not even kidding you. Somebody wants to pay for her mom, her mom, to be coached. By small 30 something year old Cecilia, her mom. So if you think that is something you can handle now, something else is waiting for you in the future. Trust me. You need to start working on yourself. You need to tell yours, you need to tell the devil to get the hell out, pack up and leave. And I always say to those who are not married, if you're not planning to get married, if you're not planning to have sex as a woman in your marriage, don't get married. Don't get married. Don't stress yourself. Don't deceive yourself. Don't even try it because at the end of the day, you are doing yourself. You're not doing the man, but it's important to talk. See, I think that everything just still comes down to talking. If you're in a relationship where you don't feel confident in yourself anymore, your husband has battered you by the things that he said, it's important to have a time, a moment where he is happy, where, you know, he's not feeling um, pressured or tension from work or whatever and have a conversation with him let him know that you understand how he feels but let him also know how you feel about the things that he says to you or that he has said to you and begin to intentionally enjoy your marriage intentionally enjoy your marriage my marriage wasn't what or yes wasn't what it is now when i just recently got married my first two, three years in marriage has is nothing compared to what it is now. Do you understand? And I'm not bragging, but I'm making conscious effort. I'm paying for courses. I'm taking, as a matter of fact, I'm even planning to do masters in family. And okay, that's not even supposed to come up. Yay. Thank God. <laughs> okay. Oh yeah. The AC, yes. 
um we have to turn on the gym please hold on okay all right so please women take care of yourself look after yourself stop faking sex um um faking orgasm rather stop faking orgasm because you're doing yourself you're doing yourself trust me please send in any questions any contributions anything you want us to okay because somebody actually said yes um one with one minute man how why should i be excited about him what would i be excited about how about you start by taking him out have conversations go and see a movie have a glass of wine go to the spa there's so many options and when you get on the bed don't be in a hurry to start hitting it off to start pounding away to start thrusting when you're on the bed can you start with little kisses here and there little necking little fingering right oral sex it takes a lot of time you can spend 30 minutes just playing with each other and just enjoying each other's body such that the moment you finally you know there's a there's a, the moment there's finally a penetration you guys are just in heaven you're like on a different pedestal different wavelength you're you're experiencing something out of the ordinary you don't know the gift of sex if you don't get to a point where you can just be in each other's arms and he's inside of you and nothing else is happening you're just lost in each other's arms it can happen for you some women don't know what um orgasm is talk more of squirts and i was just in with some women recently and then we mentioned squirts and somebody like huh what's that i'm like go and google it go and look for it it's spelled s s cure <laughs> somebody should say mm-hmm <laughs> squirt is s q u i r t i hope i got it right s q u i r t squirt is like another level of orgasm no my generator can be off all right sex is beautiful it's a gift from god you need to know your anatomy what does your husband's penis look like what is the size of his penis do you know what is there to be ashamed of you guys are having sex the light is off what's happening kilo day what are you afraid of this same body that you know what it looked like on a child like when you were a child because you can see the now that you're an adult you're fully grown you're matured you you're not you're not exploring you should be able to explore your spouse's body without an atom of shame nothing to be ashamed of foreplay is biblical sex is biblical in fact if you're not doing it you're living in disobedience you need to understand that it's a serious matter it's a serious matter somebody says is it possible to change a one minute man that believes sex should be cancelled in life hmm sex cannot be cancelled in life but it is not your job to change him it's your job to first of all understand where he's coming from now let me even tell you guys something do you know that men some men have also been abused so it's not women um it's not only women that have um suffered sexual abuse so for a man who has been sexually abused he's not seeing anything exciting about this thing that we're talking about what we're saying sounds lame sounds useless to him so i think the first thing that person needs to do is to understand where this man is coming from understand why he feels that sex is pointless and understand is he christian that's first things first is he a christian if he is point him to the scriptures what the, the scripture says about sex it's there in corinthians first corinthians talks about your body not being your body it belongs to the both of you and it says do not deny your spouse your body so if it's a one minute man like i said a lot of foreplay it could also be medical because there's some things that we just don't want to take care of if he knows that he's one minute man maybe there's something wrong with his erectile you know his erection let me not use medical terms that i don't understand myself maybe there's something wrong with his erection he needs to fix it he needs to find out what the problem is so you both need to see a doctor 
okay but if they rule out medical conditions then it has to be with his psychology it has to do with his mind what was his upbringing like did he go through any some any form of trauma anything is possible if you can first of all diagnose what the problem is don't expect to just oh he's an adult now he should know sometimes a lot of things have shaped us from when we were born and it's not something that you can just wish away so there's work to be done all right i hope i answered your question um he just doesn't want to change at all what are the mood or what what are the um what's the right word now what's the way or how do you approach this this challenge how do you approach this challenge how do you approach it are you constantly um attacking him are you constantly telling him you know that he can't get up and do anything you don't know how many times he's been battered maybe he just needs a supportive wife maybe he just sits, needs somebody who can tell him the opposite of the things he's been hearing since as a child do you understand he could be going through a lot of you know trauma and psychological pain from childhood or whatever okay i don't believe that anybody can't be changed i don't believe that so do your own due diligence find out what the problem is um pray to god about it you guys have good conversations find out if it's medical if it is seek help okay and if it's medical i can't help i'm not a medical practitioner if it's not medical find out if he wants to listen to somebody if he wants to be counseled unfortunately um anyway let's leave it there find out if he wants to work on it okay and if there are things because see it's a total package and we tell the men that women are psychological in nature when she's not up to it you know mentally it doesn't matter what you do to her she will not enjoy sex with you so it may also you may also need to check some of the things that you do i'm not trying to point blames now but if you know me you know that it's both ways for me work on yourself as a man work on yourself as a woman uh, you know just you guys connect because if you guys are not working things out now how will you teach your children what will you teach this generation of children that are so smart this generation they learn things so they can smell your anger from afar even when a woman is pregnant her child her unborn child knows and mirrors her physical and her emotional feeling so work it out work it out it's not easy i have never promised that it's easy but it's possible all right king's kitchen it is possible first time hearing it's quotes <laughs> if go and google it like a higher level of climax for a woman she gushes water and you turn for some women you think you're urinating no you're not so it takes a man who is confident in himself a man who is ready and willing to go all the way a man who has learned some stuff as well you guys can sit down in bed and read up some articles on sex on how to you know reach climax i can copy some some articles and post and have you guys just learn between the two of you you'll be shocked if a man starts working on you from morning till he comes to he, till he comes home, there is every tendency that you may squirt. Trust me. Go and read up on it and see. Um, and I'm very sure he's not cheating. Yes, now King's Kitchen. There are men who are not cheating on their wives, but they're not having sex. There are men, lots of them like that. Their sexual libido is low. For some of them, I know of a man and his wife who didn't have sex for years after wedding until they started going for counseling. It dawned on the wife that on their wedding night, she made mention of his penis and compared his penis to her ex's penis. Seriously. And that killed the man. Every time she wanted sex, he wasn't interested because he felt like he was going to, you know, be compared to somebody else. And that killed the man inside of him so him he may not be cheating there are men like that they just don't enjoy sex 
you have to do some more work. So like we're teaching the men to do some more work to help the woman. You need to help this man as well. Figure it out. Find out. Pray. Let the Lord help you as well. Okay? And I pray that the Lord will help you. Um, my husband overworks himself and doesn't spend much time with foreplay. What does he overwork himself with? Braids and weaves by Debs. What does he overwork himself with? Is it work? Is it his business? How can you help reduce the stress for him? You need to find out. Maybe in your own case, you need to send him lunch. You need to leave him love notes in his pocket. You need to call him while he's at work and just find out how he's doing. You need to appreciate him more. And see, when sex is good, when you have the most amazing sex with your spouse, with your husband, how many times have you affirmed him? Everybody likes to be honored and celebrated and told that, you know, you are amazing. How many times have you said to your husband, guy, what happened last night? You almost killed me. Like, you are too good. Like, your baba went to heaven with a toilet for you. How many times have you said sex was lovely, sweetie? How many times? Because the truth is, when you do that, the man feels like, hmm, he's a champion. Like, ooh, my wife said I'm good. He's looking forward for a rematch, right? He's looking forward to a replay of the previous night's event. And when you appreciate him, when he's at work, send him messages or remind him of the tiger that he was the previous night. Remind him. Even the Bible says, always bring him remembrance, you know. Remind him. He may forget. So if you know he overworks himself, before he leaves, ask him, what can I do to make your day easier, to make things work easier for you? See, I don't think that a lot of men who are sexually active and enjoy sex can resist a woman flirting with them during the day. Do you flirt with your husband enough? My generator is blinking. Let me just turn this on and be ready right so it's important that you find out where the problem lies and work on the problem okay thank you so much for that question um it's not medical we've been to doctor three times but he doesn't want to fix it you know what king's kitchen send me a dm okay send me a dm let's talk send me a dm there might be underlining issues that you guys aren't dealing with send me a dm we'll work things out but i think you should also pray about it and do your own best see if you want to also learn not to fake orgasm always try and look hot try and last sunday i took a course by um obese aura um she's a style consultant wardrobe merchant and she was teaching us how to be sexy at home dress up at home you're going to work you're going to church you're going to your office you dress up you have your wigs on you have your perfume you have your body sprays and all of that you're looking all hot then you come back home the first thing we women do we fling our wigs we throw it somewhere and some of you have dirty cornrows not me dirty cornrows then you come home you pull everything and you're just walking around with wrapper on your chest hello are you okay? What will entice the man to you? What will pull? What is that thing that would make this man leave the work he's doing in the office to come home to you? If you're not even making an effort. And I know that some of you truly make efforts, you know, but that, you know, there's, there's a lot of, a lot of stuff. Some of these questions really, um, need to be to, to be to be looked at from a holistic um place i don't know why my journey is off okay he doesn't want to fix it maybe there's something you need to do maybe there's something wrong and you guys need to fix it okay um let's see any more question yeah like if he said it's probably taking a drug or maybe not maybe not maybe not just and he's not cheating and it's not medical then you guys need to see a counselor 
and you have to pray about it you may not get results immediately but you can you will get results for sure for sure pray about it you will get results you've done all that all the time you affirm him and nothing yeah you have to keep at it you see how we always say that um or how i always say that the men should be patient with us be patient with him and keep doing your best and don't forget there's nothing you cannot pray about god institu instituted marriage he gifted us with this the gift of sex remind him of his words go back to the bible and ask him why he will put you in this position and you need to be touched. You need to be, you know, um, you need to have sex. You need to do the things that you need to do to feel like a woman that is married to a man, to a king. Why are things not working? Right? Remind God, speak to that situation because sometimes we pray and miss. Speak to that situation, whatever the reason, whatever is making him too tired too stressed out for me let it be removed let that mountain be removed declare the words let the mountain be removed take it seriously don't just say mm, he doesn't want it's fine it's okay or you get angry you lash out you get all you know no take it easy pray about it keep doing your best don't give up on your husband don't give up on your marriage don't give up on orgasm for yourself. Don't give up on enjoying sex in all its totality. Four plays, four plays out of different level. Okay? You, there are thing, you can do all sorts of things. All sorts. And you guys can have sex every day. Now, somebody asked the question that I posted. It says um, that you're faking sex. The faking orgasm doesn't mean you don't enjoy sex. If you fake orgasm, doesn't mean you don't enjoy sex. Well, not really. No, I would say no. You know, because for me, too, I used to fake orgasm. You guys know that I will say it as it is. I'm not perfect. So sometimes I wonder why God will give me this job. I'm not perfect. I used to fake it. But you know, sometimes for a woman, why not? Sometimes we enjoy the process of, you know, love making and how he's going in and out of you. But you may not necessarily climax, but you're you're okay, you're satisfied. Everybody's at their different level. A woman who is one month pregnant is at a different level. Another one is six months pregnant, she's at a different level. Another one is eight months, nine months pregnant, different level. So don't take what you cannot carry. Understand where you are at the moment and take it one step at a time. One step at a time, okay? Now, Vivica, I don't know why you're laughing. You guys put me in the know. Have I said something out of place? Um, Cecilia, thank you so much for the laughter. So you're also laughing. What happened to the hearts? Have they gone on strike? Have the hearts gone on strike? Please send me the hearts. You guys know I love the hearts a lot. Obana Grill. Obana Grill. Thank you for joining. No hearts. I'm waiting for the hearts. <laughs> okay, so anybody um, has a question? Somebody wants to go live with me? Does anybody want to go live with me? You have a question and you want to ask live or a contribution. Unusual TJ, are you still here? Are you still here on usual TJ? Is my network still good? Because everything is slow. Yay! I see hearts. Thank you so much. Thank you. Okay, guys. Um, okay, so any more question? Any contribution before I call it a night? Uh, we have just 25 seconds. Should we come back? Should we come back? Should we come back? Should we come back? 
Okay, I will come back after this. Okay? Maybe for a couple more set minutes. 5, 10, 20 minutes. Thank you so much.